Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. The news I have for you today is about Prophet Joshua Ginla. What he said about Bola Ametinumbu Atiku and Peter Obi. Breaking news. Only God can remove President Bola Ametinumbu. Prophet Joshua again tells Atiku and Peter Obi. There is a video of Pastor Joshua again that is currently trending on social media. It is a video of his recent preaching where he advised Alhaji Atiku Abubakar that instead of wasting time on court cases, he should go back to the drawing board and reorganize his party towards the 2027 elections. He said that it is God that makes a man king and that there is a spiritual angel to Tenubo's victory. He said that he was sleeping when God told him what would happen. He said it is a prophecy. Some of you don't even understand who is a prophet. If you know who is a prophet, you will humble. You'll be humbled. I told you in my prophecy for Nigeria that His Excellency, our president, that there is nobody that can remove or push him aside or to step aside except god some of you don't even understand i saw a slogan moving all eyes on judiciary and on the day of the judgment all the eyes on judiciary were sleeping then you know that there is something spiritual on eye eyes on judiciary there's something spiritual everybody was sleeping and also the judiciary eyes was on the people that were supposed to put eyes on the judiciary. The wonderful, highly esteemed judge eyes were open reading judgment. The people fighting for judgment, hmm, all eyes on our strong lane colleagues. Even journalists that were covering the whole thing, their eyes were sleeping and will know that there is something spiritual on all eyes on the judiciary. You that came to plead case on the day of judgment, you are sleeping. You were looking and you were sleeping. I know that you will interpret it that they were all tired. The tiredness cannot just come all, all randomly like that. Pam. At least you will tell this one to sleep while my eyes is open. Prophetically, the way forward. I thank God for the great, mighty, and fight from His Excellency, Elijah Abubakar, our great man, Peter Obi. They are wonderful men. They have proven that, look, we can't whistle. I am just telling you as a prophet what I see. If you go to Supreme Court after everything, then you are still going to get the same thing you have been getting even till now that is it i know you will attack me but i'm telling you before you go if i were you i would spend time putting my party in order preparing for 2027 election and hear me until this party pdp labor party understand collaboration or as long as you are divided i can tell you the results that you will get in 2023. I can tell you, as long as you are divided, you can abuse me. I am not even talking to you now. I'm not even talking about Supreme Court. I'm talking about 2023, 2027. If you don't put your house in order, the umbrella can tear and Papa and Mama can turn their back. I speak to you and attack you. I don't want to be popular, but I want to tell you the truth. And what is the truth? If you can stay and put your house in order, then you are prepared. You are prepared, but not now. 
should you go for your mandate, <laughs> go and fight. But I'm telling you, there is nothing new that will come out of it. It is the same result that you get now that you will get you will get later. Are you trying to print the result? No, I'm trying to tell you what I have seen. I'm not talking from a legal perspective. I am talking from a spiritual perspective. I entered the future. I saw the evidence you brought. And I saw the judgment and I still see even more serious interpretations than what you have. What is today's date? Write it down so that when the result comes out, you will know what is my advice. Spend time coming together. I am not supposed to give you this expo, but I am giving you. I have said things, I have said this, and I will keep saying it, that the only person that can remove the president here is God. And His Excellency, please, sir, spend time on your health and speak, and please, sir, watch what you talk or you take, because friends will soon become enemies. I want to be to be unpopular so that when I speak, you know a prophet has spoken. So, there should be no medical emergency abroad. Sir, Your Excellency, spend time on your health. Friends can become enemies because too many ambitious people are around you. The future is pregnant with a lot of meanings. Don't forget what I say. I say the only person that can remove anybody is God. He said that they should tell Obi and Atiku that it is the same thing that will still happen because it is only God that can move him. Before Tinubu even came out that he wanted to run, Prophet was the one that first told us that Tinubu will be president and everybody insulted him. Even me, I did. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Absolutely truth. He has said it all. He said it before election that Tinubu would be declared winner and it happened. He said what, what will happen to the, the court, the Supreme Court, and it happened. It happened. But to me, yes, it's God, it's only God that will take Tinubu out of the seat. God is just taking his time. No matter what Peter will be, Atiku, no matter what they do, no matter the fake or uh, um, secret they, they, they bring out about Tinumbu, if God says Tinumbu will leave, he will. If God says Tinumbu will still remain in office, he will. But I know God that I serve that he will not make his children suffer for long. There's a Bible passage that says, Weeping me and joy for a night with joy coming in the morning. Even Jesus Christ was tempted. I know God is trying to tempt us. I know at the end of the day, when the time comes, peace will reign in Nigeria. The right person, the rightful person will come and what and con and rule us and make this country peaceful. So, viewers, what is your take on this? Don't hesitate to drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as bell button.